in the video and in the screen how you can uh, write equals condition inside the function so first here I am showing you the example after that I will show you the code so here is the example I have written exactly a code of equals condition inside the function so here is the code I will function and function name. So basically, how we are defining the function by function and function name and parentheses. Opening and closing parentheses. After that, I will get a equals condition. If you will write this here also no, inside the function, then also the, you are going to go into the so here I have written an e condition. If A is greater than B, then document dot write this is so true. If this is so true means if this function is true. If this if A is not greater than B, then this code will run. So let's see which code this condition is going in which for us so this condition is going with it else condition and one more thing basically this is it people are writing console the log First, you first you are you guys are able to see it, but now you will be able to see it. You can just see basically in console it's showing this. This is the false condition. So why it's showing here? Not here. This is the difference in console.log and document. Document that right means uh, this is the document. So, this is the document. In this document, the output will be shown. If you write console, then the output will be shown in this inspect in developer tools. After return this code, I have called that function here. With function name, I have to open and close in parentheses and semicolon. This is called a callback function. This is called a callback function. One more thing, one more function I want to explain it. In this, I am not using a callback function. So, see. So here I have given a function name. First I will send one button and that I have given a function name. So I have written a function function name. Then in function I have defined I have told you that, no, that you can define variable inside the function also. So, so. Variable and so it's called the confirmation. Then after that, you want to click on this. So basically, it happens when then I will click on this. So if answer, if I will click yes, then it will highlight me this welcome value. Then I have given a URL means window location. So basically, someone click on yes, no, it will be there to make the picture. After that, if someone click no, then they will let us 
the soil. They will get a message as soil. So you guys may you guys will tell me how this function is running if I not return a callback function. So this is here. Basically what I've done now, I've created one button. I have given that button or in that button I've given a confirmation function name. So this function is calling on a button see here. But on clicking on that button, this function will run. Here I have to find a function name. That's why that code is on I hope if I'm able to clear your doubts and if you like my video then please give a thumbs up on my channel.